And what we're going to do with this screen now is recreate it. I just want to show you how easy it is to create a customized gauge screen based on the data coming into your sensor interface unit. So I'm going to hit this play button in the menu, uh, which is going to take me to the next screen, which is currently blank. You could have anywhere from one to eight screens. Um, and if we go back to, I'm going to toggle through here and go back to the screen we started with. Uh, our first first gauge we're going to put on is oil PSI. And then I have the rest actually written down in front of me. So for demonstration purposes, I don't have to go back and forth. If I double click, I'm going to see a grid. Now this grid is going to be where, uh, it's going to be how I'm going to align different gauge types and display different information. So we had a small dial up here in the top left and it was oil PSI. So if I right click with my mouse, go down to oil PSI and we have a specific dial called oil dials that I'm going to click on and that is going to display my oil PSI. I'm going to move to the next uh, the next box of the grid and right click again and here I want to put a small uh, air temperature dial. So I'm going to find air temp and go down to temp dials because it's a temperature dial. I'm going to move here, right click again and let's say you want another small EGT um, but say you have two exhausts so let's do EGT1 which I already have set up and we're going to do another temperature dial because it's a temp and then we'll put in EGT2 right click EGT2 and that's a temperature dial as well so let's say we want to do voltage now and another small dial we have a volt dial here and then finally perhaps a transmission PSI trans PSI transmission dials okay so these are with this particular theme it kinda has a Garmin look um, uh, this is what the small dial looks like now as we had on the previous screen we have three large dials engine temp speed and RPMs so I'm going to toggle through and enter these okay now when I right click um, in, the, in the next grid down here there's I'm going to start with engine temp there's just a large dial option um, large dial here so I can display engine temp and, I've, and I haven't mentioned yet if I want to remove a dial uh, you have to be careful not to overlap uh, because dials will overlap and if you can't read what it is um, you, you can't remove it because you have to select the proper dial each time so if I right click and go to e temp and none that will remove the dial and I'm gonna go ahead right click again e temp large dial put it back and then let's move down a little bit here um, and do my tachometer, which is RPM, large dial. And then my last one here was speed. So to even with to go even with this engine temp dial, I'm gonna right click up in this box and speed. and large dial. So after you create a screen that you're happy with, you will hit the save button. It's going to ask you to save the display labels and page definitions and you're just going to say yes. Later on we're going to get into uh, where that's saving and how do you edit, um, edit it specifically. But for right now that is how you can build build your own gauge screen exactly how you like and toggle through and build other ones. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to apply a different theme to your gauge layout and an engine information. V-Dash is really nice in that it lets you um, change the entire look and feel with only a few clicks and apply a different theme to the data that already exists and that you have already set up here. So I'm going to open the preferences screen and click on files and uh, this is an overview of the configuration files, more specifically the V-Dash project file uh, which allows configuration of separate units without having to recreate each file list. So the information you see and the style or the display theme is all customizable and the user can create multiple project files, themes, and gauge layouts to easily display the same data in different ways and toggle between 
different display themes and have an entire different feel. So down here under V dash theme file, I'm going to hit choose and I'm going to go up one level and these directories are all installed when you on your system in your in your documents folder when you initially install V dash. So I'm going to go, let's do the blue 3D theme. It's going to ask you to pick a definition file. There's only one. And double click on the text file, save. It asks you to load the program, reload the program to apply the new theme. I'm going to connect again. And you can see I now have an entire different theme di displaying the same information. If I want, I can toggle through um, all my all my pages that already exist, and this theme will be applied to it. Now, let's change it again. Go into the Preferences, Files, choose a different theme file. Let's say I want a darker one. I'm going to go up one directory, back to the theme files, and let's go Classic Black. Double click, save out of here. It's going to ask me to reload V dash. I'm going to connect again, and I have a completely different look yet again. I'm going to change the theme file one more time. And let's go to the night gauges theme, which I like. It's going to ask me to restart V dash. I'm going to connect again, and now I have a very slick looking night theme. So as you can see, VDash is very uh, easily user configurable, and it's a great way to set up different display layouts and um, run all of your gauges and switches. So I ran through some of the very basic and commonly used functions that VDash offers. If I open my preferences, menu here again and go to options you can see that um, V dash has many different configurations um, such as display resolution remote switching if switching is enabled alarms pulse inputs and rates enabling NEMA 2000 and more V dash also has many advanced features such as data logging logging onto a web server in order to display engine information in real time over multiple devices wirelessly you can configure custom themes edit calibration tables Flash program your own sensor fit, sensor interface unit and more. So please visit us online and check out our support page or give us a call or an email if you have any specific questions. Overall, Chetco Digital provides a complete digital instrumentation and networking package for marine, automotive, and industrial applications. Our global customer base utilizes digital gauges to monitor anything from tachometers, fuel flow, boost pressures, engine temp, oil pressure, EGT, voltmeters, and more advanced features such as multiple engine performance and data logging, battery banks, automated fluid distribution tanks, and more. In addition, remote switching is used for the touchscreen activation of a variety of equipment. Recently, with the release of our CSmart.net wireless protocol, our customers can easily view engine data wirelessly from any smartphone, tablet, or laptop such as an iPhone, Droid, iPad, or any notebook computer. CSmart.net also interfaces with NEMA 2000 and NEMA 0183 data supporting weather station and GPS information. For more details on any of our products, please visit us at CheckCodeDigital.com where you'll find a link to our support page and more information on our CSmart.net protocol or DigitalMarineGages.com for our products page and shopping cart. Thank you very much for your time and we welcome your interest in our products.